check in with Oliver Slope of Blue Line Futures. And uh, Oliver, we have a, a lot of divergence going on here. Soybeans kind of holding their own today, but the corn's starting to slide. And uh, the wheat market, at least Chicago wheat, really starting to roll downhill all of a sudden. What's going on? All right, start, starting to see a kind of a mixed bag here, and I think a lot of the volatility started last week with the, the headlines from Iran going into the weekend. There was a concern that potentially uh, tensions with Iran escalating could potentially throw a wrench into uh, signing a phase one deal with China because China and Iran just got done with some military exercises not too long ago. But that doesn't seem to be really affecting soybeans here now that the dust has settled. 950, obviously psychologically significant. I think there's more important fundamentals uh, to focus on, one being South American weather. But I think the big ticket item this week is going to be that USDA report out on Friday morning. That's going to be a big one to set the tone here in the first quarter. Uh, so still kind of waiting on that. We've had a heck of a rally through the month of December, about 75 cents. So we're kind of right here, I think, in the middle of no man's land waiting for new news. Now, we are a little bit more optimistic on the corn market. However, Friday's failure was a, a big kind of a, a technical uh, breakdown. And we're seeing that follow through here this morning. Uh, 385 is previous resistance. has now become support on a closing basis. We're tripping below that here now. If we close below here, potentially there's more room to the downside towards 377 but I've got to believe there's probably more upside potential if you look a little bit further out in corn.